Hi, I'm Mr. Broder. And I'm Mr. Broder. And we are the, the Charlatans. Charlatans. We come together again this first full week of May to bring you all things Charlotte Doyle. We have four chapters left of the book, and we're going to pick up on page 219. Chapter 19. Without another word, Captain Jaggery led me back to the hold and locked me in the brig. This is right after the trial. I turned from him, but I believe he stood there, considering me for a while by the gloomy light of the lamp. Then he left. I heard his retreating footfalls and the creak of the ladder, saw the light gradually fade away until the hold grew completely dark again. At last I slumped onto the stool, and though it was dark, I closed my eyes. Startled by a sound, I looked up. Zachariah, a candle in his hand, was standing before me. Suddenly, s silently, he circled the brig, pulled out the bars I crept from my cage, and we sat down close together, backs on once more against the barrel. barrel. <laughs> yeah. A little candle? A little candle b before us. I told him all that had happened, and he remained silent, no, no, nodding now and again. By the time I was done, he was weakening copiously. Copiously. That's one of their vocab words, oddly enough. I know what it means. What does it mean? Well, we I don't give weeping. them an answer. Uh oh. Can you whisper it to me? <laughs> it's good that you didn't say it out loud then. So you were weeping copiously, and Zachariah. Let us let us, me sob. That's yours. Uh, he waited. No, I don't have one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can read that though. He waited for my last sniffle, then asked. How much time does he give you? 40, 24 hours. I murmured. Charlotte, he says softly, he'll not see it through. He does what he says he'll do. I said bitterly. Stole you. You said as much yourself, and he is the whole crew agreeing with, with his just judgment that he was careful, punctilious. That's another vocab word, right? That is another vocab word. I have it underlined right here. I think they can hear you going. Pss, 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 pss. I spat out, remembering the word the captain had used to describe himself. I don't know the word. Everything in order? Huh, looks like there's an answer right there. Aye, that's him. Zachariah rubbed the stubble around his chin. And did no one stand up for you? Uh, he asked. No one. He shook his head. <sighs> it's that I don't understand. I looked up. Don't you? For the first time, I felt my anger turn toward him. Why? Have they not become your friends? I have no friends. You must not say that, Charlotte. Didn't I tell you right from the beginning, you and me, together? Uh, Sounds like a musical I, number. I, I, I maybe, shook. Maybe Georgia could write it for us. Georgia, if you're here, write this song for us. You and me, together. It's the musical hit number of the musical version of Charlotte Doyle. Uh, but this is you. I shook my head. I shook my head at the memory. What's this? He said, trying to laugh at my response way. No friends? Not friends. Not friends? Okay. Not friends? You, you're Not a friends. You're a literature. I'm thinking about the musical. <laughs> <laughs> Not friends? Zachariah. I, I burst, burst out. out. I'm going to be hanged. He made a gesture of dismal. Dismissal. You won't. How can you be so sure? I won't let him. You? You just have to show yourself. You'd have to show yourself. What of your plan to go to the authorities? I'll give it up. But after all that's happened? Yes. I don't believe you. Charlotte, why would you say that? When I kept silent, he said, Come oh, now. Now, Charlotte, something else is preying upon your thoughts. Something bitter. You must have it out. Don't tell me what I must do or what I must not do. I cried. That's for Jaggery. Forgive me. This old black man humbly regrets, requests that you tell him what's beset your mind. Um, Zachariah. I blurted out. You haven't told me the truth. He, oh, he turned hard. He looked hard on me. You must explain yourself. I retreated into the brig. 
He pulled himself closer, pressing his face into the bars. Charlotte? He insisted. Now I'm truly begging. Tell me what you mean. Zachariah. I said tearfully again. I know who killed Mr. Hollybrass. <laughs> then why don't you speak it out so I can hear? He said sharply. I'm waiting for him to say it himself. I threw back. He sighed. There's an old seaman saying, Miss Doyle, the devil will tie any knot save the hangman's noose. That Jack does for himself. Your silence is foolish. I beg of you, who do you think it is? I pressed my lips tight. Miss Doyle, he said, if you want to save your life, you tell me. I'm trying to help you, but I can't manage it without your thoughts. You have some choices, Miss Doyle. Shall I make them clear? Do you prefer to dangle from a yard arm? In your, uh, by your neck? Or do you wish to walk free? What do you want, Miss Doyle? To live. He sighed. <sighs> then speak. Miss, oh, you go. That's you, Mr. Zachariah. Mr. Zachariah? I said with increasing wariness. I already told you. I want the man to come forward himself. <laughs> Most unlikely. Apparently. I said with even greater bitterness. Something in my voice must have alerted him. He scrutinized me shrewdly. Are those vocabulary words? It's underlined right here, shrewdly, yeah. Uh, shrewdly. Miss Doyle, why are you calling me Mr. Zachariah? For the same reason you were calling me Miss Doyle. He cocked his head to one side, and I could feel his gaze upon me. For a moment, I had the courage to return it, but he quickly glanced away. He said, Charlotte, you've grown suspicious of me. Am I correct? I nodded. Look at me. I did. He sighed again. Is it truly possible you think I murdered Mr. Hollybrass? After a moment, I admitted. Yes. And why? Zachariah. I cried out. You were on the deck. You have every reason to want him dead. And since I told you, you knew where I'd left the dirk. I suppose you would have preferred to kill the captain, but the first mate would do. <laughs> and no one would know, would they? Least of all, Jaggery. I'm certain it is why the rest of the crew believes. I rushed on. And that, and that's why they won't speak for me. I, it is to protect you, Zachariah, just as they had done the same thing all along. I can hardly blame them. I sank onto the floor sobbing. You're going to start sobbing? <laughs> you did such a good job before. I'll make you sob. For quite a time, Zachariah didn't speak, and the longer he remained silent, the more certain I was that I'd utter the truth. Charlotte, he said at last, if you believed all that, why did you not say so before? Because you're the only one. You told me so yourself, and I believe you. You're the only one who can get off the Seahawk when we reach Providence and go to the authorities about Captain Jagger. And that's, what you, that's why you said nothing? Yes. It does you honor, he said very quietly. I don't care about honor, I declared. I'd much rather live, but at least you could do and be honest with me. Charlotte. Nope, oh, he hesitated. And he said. He hesitated then said, Charlotte, you don't have it correct. I don't suppose I know everything. Charlotte. He said with the unmost solemnity. Is that another? It's another vocab word. Wow, you're good. You're good at this. I did not kill Mr. Hollybrass. I eyed him suspiciously. Charlotte. Uh, he continued. He... We shall either live by believing one another or by not believing die. I want to believe you. I told him. I do. I sank back down on the stool. For a long while, neither of us spoke. There seemed nothing to say. Then in despair, I said, Zachariah, sometimes I think Jaggery has this work about what? what, what? Just make sure you have eye contact with the camera. Okay. But I have to look down to read. Has it worked out? Has, has it worked all this out? So you and I should blame one another. But you said he doesn't know you are alive. He started. Repeat what you said. What? The last thing. About his not knowing you're alive. Yes. He moved from the brig and sat down in a mood completely changed. After a while, he muttered, Charlotte! Oh, that would be me. Charlotte! Mm. You say? What? When I was on the deck during the storm, Jaggery saw me. 
His words sank in slowly. Zachariah, you're telling me that the captain knows you're alive and has done nothing. Yes. Then when did he see you? I demanded. As I say, during the storm, I was on the deck trying to reach the main mast. Before or after you helped me? Thought a moment. Before, I I was bent into the wind, doubled over when I heard voices arguing. I I couldn't make them out at first. Then I I saw Captain Jagger and Mr. Hollybrass. It was they who were arguing uh, furiously. I heard Mr. Hollybrass accuse the captain of deliberately taking the Seahawk to the storm. Jaggery was enraged. I thought he was about to strike the man. Then the first mate took himself off while the captain turned toward me. At first he didn't recognize me, only swore, as I did. But then... What did he do? Nothing. Just stared in a wild sort of way. Mind, the storm was growing worse, but before he could do or say anything, I headed for the foremast where I chanced upon where you needed me. Didn't you wonder when, after the storm, he did nothing? Charlotte, you yourself told me when I helped you on the mast, you thought me a ghost, an angel perhaps. Think of Jaggery. If ever a man had guilty deeds locked into his thoughts, deeds enough to rise the dead from the seven seas, he would be the one. When, after the storm, he did nothing, I decided it was exactly what he thought, that I was an apparition. He, his leaving me here was proof enough. How else to explain it? And therefore, I was safe. I gazed at him through the bars, trying to grasp the full import of what he was saying. Zachariah? I said, slowly trying to sort out my tumbling thoughts. During the trial, he made me a point of asking me what happened to you. And you answered? To make sure he didn't know, I said that you had died. But Zachariah, but Zachariah, if he did know you might be alive, he might also guess that we all knew it. And he might think exactly as I did that you killed Mr. Hollybrass, but he wouldn't say. So as to condemn you. Only with me gone, he could turn on you. He could not do it the other way around, or fear of going to the authorities, I thre- as I threatened to do. You Do you think he, re- he knows who really killed Mr. Hollybrass? <laughs> he might. But who? Zachariah grew thoughtful. To kill a hand during a storm when everyone else is desperately needed takes a kind of madness. He said finally. Well then. I said. Who does that leave? We looked at one another and knew. The captain. I said. It must have been the one who killed Holly. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. That's pretty harsh. Charlotte. Zachariah protested. Mr. Hollybrass was Jaggery's only friend. Yes, people would think them friends. No one would believe it. It could be Captain Jaggery. But you told me they had never sailed together before. And I never saw much friendship between them. Did you? No. Then you said they argued. I continued. I saw some of that too. In the storm, you even thought Captain Jaggery lifted a hand to strike him after Mr. Hollybrass made an accusation. Of deliberately sailing into the storm. Did that, uh, is that a serious charge? The owners would be greatly alarmed. But to kill him... Zachariah, he sees you. He, he's, he saw you. It's wrong grammar. But anyway, keep going. You're, you're, you're caught up in the emotion. The crew, he realizes, must know it too. I'm a threat to him. So are you. And now here's Mr. Hollybrass, another threat. But let him murder Mr. Hollybrass, and then everyone will think you did the crime. But then he accuses you, Zachariah said. And see how much he's managed. I cried. Zachariah, you are. And slowly he said. The crew keeps silent to protect me, even as, he's, as he hangs you. To which I added. And once I'm gone, Zachariah, then he'll deal with you. Zachariah grew thoughtful. And finally I heard him whisper, May the gods protect us. There's gods in this story? It's polytheistic? So say we all. God. Keep going. May the lords of Cobalt hear our prayer. <laughs> what? The excitement. The excitement of our discovery ended, and we sat in the silence in the time the candle went out. What? I asked ruefully. What can we do about any of this? Charlie, we must force him to confess. He's too powerful. True. You'll need not get many men to confess when he holds a gun and you've got none. 
What do you mean? Charlotte, see what happened when we rose against it before. You've been in his quarters, haven't you? You must have seen that iron safe of his is full of muskets. You're not likely to get into that. No one knows where he keeps the key. I reached over and plucked at his arm. Zachariah? I said. I know where he keeps it. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Mutiny. Arr. Good stuff. I think it's going to be a Matrix moment. Like what? Oh, she's going to like dodge the bullets? Like that? Oh, they're going to like storm? Yeah? Okay. That's going to be fun. Like, All right. Like Captain Jagger says, here's your trial. Uh, so Charlotte's going to go all Neo on him. All right. We'll or, see how um, that theory goes. Or Starbuck. Or all the other people. I can okay. List. All right. We'll have to wait until Thursday to find out what happens when Zachariah and Charlotte team up in Chapter 20 of Charlotte Doyle. And remember, we are the Charlatans.